are committed more than ever to liberating our residents from the scourge of neighborhood blight. We'll be proposing uh, an, increasing, an increase in the city penalties for code violations from a third degree misdemeanor, which translates to 60 days in jail and a $500 fine to a first degree misdemeanor, which means 180 days in jail and a $1,000 fine. We're serious. We're very serious about this. But we got to hold these landlords more responsible because they fear they're going to jail. If they fear they're going to spill and spend time with the county in a forced manner with new accommodations, without a jacuzzi, with barely running water, I think we'll find these landlords, these irresponsible landlords, to be more focused and being more responsible if we can hold them with greater accountability and greater penalties. This budget in 2014 would further enhance our code enforcement efforts, and we need to do that. It will provide more tools, greater efficiency, and more personnel. This budget invests about $600,000 more to add two new teams of four code enforcement officers each. And these eight new positions will constitute a new unit that will be proactive in addressing and in going in targeted areas uh, where there have been experiences of, of greatest challenges. There's also a need to change the law. The law needs to be changed. We, we need stiffer state penalties to deter and punish those that are harming our neighborhoods. And so we're going to work with the state and try to get those stiffer laws. We also need changes at the state level to pierce the veil of the limited liability companies that own these vacant and abandoned properties that hide behind the veil of legality. And we try to get to them. And they live in France. They live in Florida. They live in Canada, they live in China, or they live down the street, somewhere else in the city of Columbus. They hide behind the corporate veil, and it's hard to get to them. 